In this video, I'm going to show you how you can boost your immune system with vitamin D in line with the very latest scientific research. Hi, this is Gawain, helping you save time with your fitness goals as efficiently and effectively as possible. Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor. Yes. And this is not medical advice, but I've been going through a ton of health info around COVID-19. And even though this isn't common knowledge yet, vitamin D is a potential game changer. Despite the name, it's not actually a vitamin, but a very powerful hormone with lots of critical functions, like preventing the immune system from overreacting if a virus slips through. We mainly create vitamin D in the skin as it reacts with UV rays from sunlight. This becomes a problem when you live further away from the equator as the less UV light there is all year round. Also, modern humans spend more time indoors and are usually fully clothed outdoors. So we're making far less vitamin D than our ancestors did. Recent studies are showing that the patients with the lowest amounts of vitamin D are more seriously ill with COVID-19. So method number one to boost your immune system with vitamin D is to get enough sun exposure for your skin tone. Now, obviously, you don't want to burn. You want to take into account your individual tolerance. Unfortunately, technology can now help remove any trial and error. There's a great phone app called D-Minder. The world's expert behind it knows how important this is right now, so it's currently free. Wherever you are, the D-Minder app uses GPS to track the sun angle and tells you when you can get your vitamin D based on your skin tone and coverage. Here's results from my session outside the other day. I had about 80% of my skin exposed to the sun for 45 minutes, and I made roughly 4,300 international units of vitamin D. As I'm fair skinned, I generate it quickly, and I'll get onto the recommended daily amounts in the next section. Here's a bonus tip. As vitamin D is created in the skin, it slowly absorbs into the bloodstream over the next few hours. So don't be in a rush to have a shower, otherwise you could wash it down the plug hole. So what if the weather's bad or you can't get outdoors to create vitamin D in the skin? Method number two is to take a supplement. Supplements often cause a lot of debate, but there's more evidence coming out that the RDA of 400 international units per day is nowhere near enough. Bear in mind that I generated over 10 times that amount in my D-Minder session without burning. How much to take per day is again individual, depending on things such as your age and your body weight. This is the one I take, and I've put a link to it in the description. So if you're worried about the risks of skin damage from too much sun, why not just stay indoors and take the supplement? You could, but you'd be missing out on loads of other benefits from sunlight, such as boosting your mood, lowering blood pressure, and even improving your sleep later that day. If you think you might be deficient, you could ask your GP to get tested, or you could spend about 40 pounds on a home testing kit and then take advice on how best to treat it. No one knows yet whether COVID will peak again here in the winter, but the good thing is you can build up your blood levels of vitamin D and store them for several weeks like a battery. Finally, can you get vitamin D from food? Long story short, sort of, but it's nowhere near as effective as sunlight or the supplements. So I hope this has been useful in highlighting how to boost your immune system using vitamin D. Please share this with anyone you think would benefit. And if you have any questions, please post a comment below. Thank you for watching and stay safe.